In this video, you will learn about Kubernetes events, their use cases, how to view them, and how to use them to troubleshoot a common issue with Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE clusters. Let's get started by understanding what Kubernetes events are. Kubernetes events are objects that give insights about what's happening inside a GKE cluster. They are usually generated when a cluster's resources, such as nodes, pods, or containers, change state. These events can be used to monitor your application and cluster state, respond to failures, and perform diagnostics. Remember, events have a limited retention time and will eventually be deleted, so you must monitor and collect events as they happen. Kubernetes events can be useful in multiple scenarios. Here are a couple common use cases. Pods not running within your cluster. Viewing the Kubernetes events for a pod can reveal why it is not running, leading to a quick resolution. For example, you may see image pull back off, indicating the cluster or node is unable to access the repository where the container image is hosted. A node in your cluster with a not ready status. Viewing the Kubernetes events can indicate why the node is not ready. For example, a node might have disk pressure, indicating that the underlying node is running out of disk space. Kubernetes events can be viewed in three different ways with a GKE cluster. In the Kubernetes Engine Council, Login Council, and within the terminal using kubectl. Before you can view the Kubernetes events, ensure that users are granted with the appropriate Identity and Access Management, or IAM, roles. Viewing events using the Kubernetes Engine Council requires the following IAM roles. Kubernetes Engine Viewer, Kubernetes Engine Cluster Viewer, and Logging Logs Viewer. Viewing events using the Logging Council requires only the following IAM roles. Logging Logs Viewer. To view Kubernetes events in the terminal using kubectl, your credentials must have at least the default cluster role view, or a cluster role that allows access to the resource events and the ability to call get, list, and watch. Let's now look at how to view Kubernetes events. Within Google Cloud, you can view events across all levels of the Kubernetes hierarchy, including cluster, nodes, and workloads. Remember, for Kubernetes clusters, events are only available for about 60 minutes. For GKE, events are exported and are available using the Logging Council. Next, you can view Kubernetes events in cloud logging with the following query, log underscore ID in brackets quotes events and resource dot label dot cluster underscore name equals and your cluster name. Finally, you can view Kubernetes events from kubectl by running kubectl events dash capital A, or for a specific resource, kubectl events dash dash for the resource forward slash the resource name. For example, kubectl events dash dash for pod forward slash Ubuntu. Another useful way to view events is with the describe command for a specific resource. For example, kubectl describe pod Ubuntu. The Kubernetes events for the specific resource are included at the bottom of the output. Let's dive into a demo and check out how to use Kubernetes events for troubleshooting a common issue in the GKE cluster. This cluster has a number of workloads running, but there appears to be one workload with no pods running. Let's get the Kubernetes events for the pod in this deployment by running the following command. kubectl events dash n k 8s events dash dash four the pod forward slash and the pod name. Oh, it looks like there's insufficient memory in the cluster for the pod to be scheduled. The solution here is to scale up, so let's add more nodes. Now that the additional nodes are ready, let's check the status of the workload. Hmm, events deployment workload still has no pods running. Let's view the events again. The pods are unschedulable as they could not meet the taint and toleration requirement to be scheduled on the new node. Let's add the toleration to the workload. Success, all the pods in the workload are running. This is just one scenario where Kubernetes events assisted us in quickly identifying and resolving our issue of a deployment not running. The next time you see a problem with your cluster, try using Kubernetes events to identify and resolve issues. For more details about Kubernetes events, check out the following documentation. Thanks for watching.